Avastar is an add-on for Blender for rigging and animating Second Life characters and attachments. The product is equipped with the Second Life reference character. It supports the extended Bento Bone set. And it also comes with the Ava Mesh model, a fully developed character that you can use for learning character modeling. You can even use this model for your own mesh creations without any restriction. In this video we briefly explain where the Avastar functions are located in Blender. For further details about the functionality and workflows, please visit the documentation website, avastar.online. Ok, so let us start with a very quick walkthrough, and we will begin with an empty Blender scene. So, most of the Avastar functions are located in the tool shelf of the 3D view. Here you find the vertical Avastar tab. And within this tab you find a number of panels, related to various tasks. The next important location is the Add menu in the footer of the 3D view. Here, you create new Avastar rigs. Avastar displays most of its features only when you have an Avastar rig in the scene. So let's now quickly add a Bento rig. We will take more time on this later. Ok, Avastar also adds some panels to the properties bar of the 3D view. You find these panels here. Then there are some more panels located in the object properties window. Namely in the object section. And in the data section. If you are working with animations, then you find our animation exporter in the render properties section. And again you need to scroll down to the bottom of the area. Furthermore, if you have two or more armatures in your scene, then the Avastar retarget tool will open up in the vertical animations tab. Avastar also provides a few importers and exporters which you can find in the Blender file menu. Probably the most important exporter for our purposes is the Avastar Colado exporter. There is also a template section where we have added ready-made scenes for your convenience. Finally, of course we have added links to our documentation website into the Blender help menu. So, this was a jumpstart to give you a first impression where you can find the tools. Now let's get into a little bit more into the details. Let's revisit the add menu in the footer of the 3D view. Here, you create new Avastar rigs either with the system meshes, or without them, depending on what you want to do next. You find basic entries here, and extended entries. The basic entries create system characters with the Second Life Legacy Skeleton. And the extended entries create rigs with the Bento Bones. And once you have your Avastar character created in the scene, you need to know some details about the various panels in the Avastar tool shelf. Here we find the rig display panel, where we can specify which bones will be shown, and how they will be displayed. As a side note, the Avastar rig contains almost 400 bones, and showing them all together may create a bit of clutter on the screen. Please also note that the bones do not necessarily look like real bones. For example the green shapes around the character actually represent the character skeleton. However the bones have been reshaped for optimizing animation tasks. If you do not like the bone shapes, 
then you can always disable the shape representation of the bones. And once you have done this, then you can switch between stick display and octahedral display. You may already have noticed that we use a color scheme to mark specific bone sets. The three most important bone sets are, first, the green skeleton, which is used for animation purposes. So whenever you want to pose or animate your character, then you will use the green bones. Next, we have the blue skeleton. This controls how your meshes bend, and move. You use the blue bones only when you are setting up the bone weights for your meshes. And here is a word of warning, please never ever use the blue bones for animating and posing your model. You technically can do this, but you will only create issues in that case. The third important subset of bones are the collision volumes. They are used for the second life fitted mesh method. The next important panel is the appearance panel. This panel has the same function as you find in the second life appearance editor. Here, you can recreate your specific avatar shape. This allows you to test your animations on different shapes without the need to make time-consuming transfers to a second life grid, only for checking if your animations work for your purpose. Sometimes you find the appearance panel is replaced by a single button which asks you to load the appearance sliders. When this happens, then just click on the button. Then the appearance sliders will show up again. Whenever you have questions regarding Avastar, then you always need to know which exact version of Avastar you currently use. You find the version number in the maintenance panel, in the My Products section. If you have an account on the Machinimatrix website, then you can connect your blender with the website. Then you can find out easily if an update is waiting for download. And you can quickly create a new bug report. We have also added a settings panel where you can switch the user interface from basic to advanced and expert. And we added one more option named experimental. This option enables features which are not yet fully implemented or for which we need user feedback. This panel also contains a set of workflow presets for different tasks like skinning and waiting or posing. Here you also find a button for opening up the add-on preferences panel, where you can configure the add-on behavior. But let's get back to the main window. There is a bit more to discover here. For example when you play with the animation bones, then you may notice that some rotations are limited, or even impossible. This is because we have added natural limitations for the bone rotations. However sometimes you need to disable the limits. For this purpose we have added the rig control panel. This panel is located in the properties sidebar of the 3D view. And when you are working with the yellow IK rig, then the related IK control panel can be found directly above the rig control panel. By now I have walked you through most of the areas where you find traces of Avesta. Of course this is by far not enough information for making best usage of the tool. So, for further reading you find many more details on our documentation website, avesta.online and we encourage you to make frequent usage of this site. Please also give us feedback about missing or not accurate documentation. This will help us to improve the documents. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, and hopefully see you next time.